The Los Angeles Lakers have absurd depth, and it's mind-boggling to consider how far the team has come in just a single year. One could legitimately contend that the Lakers boast the league's deepest roster. Consider the point guard position. You got Shafino, Jalen Hood, Gabe Vincent, and Dillo. Max Christie and Austin Reeves are your two guards. However, the forward and center positions are actually when things get scary. The Lakers have Maxwell Lewis, Braun, the Eftorian Prince, Cam Reddish, and Rujachi Morin at the four spot. Jared Vanderbilt is also a member of the team. Three players are at the five, Jackson Hayes, Christian Wood, and Ad. This season, Anthony Davis will have excellent front court support, which will be crucial for preventing him from overtaxing his body during the regular season and giving him more time to recover for the postseason. Of course, Christian Wood was the Lakers' most recent acquisition. In addition to being a stretch five that the Lakers have never really had, Wood will be able to provide that four spacing. If Anthony Davis played the five and Christian Wood played the four, it would be interesting to see. Wood is a great shooter, so I would really like to see some of that. The Lakers will have plenty of choices this year for four spacing, but at the forward and center positions they were really lacking some of it. However, they were able to obtain some more shooting with Christian Wood. He would offer add some further spacing. Additionally, the Lakers have had a tremendous offseason overall. You let go of Austin Reeves on a fantastic, team-friendly contract. You extend the same courtesy to D'Angelo Russell and Rouge Akhu Moran. Add Gabe Vincent, who is expected to be a fantastic complimentary player for D'Angelo Russell, and you're able to offer Dillo some competition at point guard. In addition to being able to open the floor for you, Vincent is a strong defender. Dillo had trouble with defense, particularly during the playoffs, so the Lakers would benefit greatly from Vincent's ability to stop their guards. A guy who can guard the wing and shoot, Torrey and Prince are a really underappreciated addition. Christian Wood, on the other hand, is a really low-risk, high-reward signing who has the potential to significantly raise this team's ceiling and doesn't seem to have much of an impact on the floor. You're talking about signing a minimum contract, after all. If given the option, I believe practically every team in the league would have taken a risk on Christian Wood on a minimal contract. Christian Wood simply happened to be in Los Angeles, and the Lakers were able to reap the benefits of his desire to be there. The Lakers, after all, have made some excellent free agency acquisitions. Additionally, a recent trend of one-year contracts with a player option for the second year, during which the contract is a minimum, gives the player greater security. Should a player be torn between two teams, it may be slightly more alluring if a team is. Rob Polinka deserves praise for doing it. Polinka has, in my opinion, had an excellent offseason. In actuality, everything stems from the trade deadline. He maintained his composure, made the appropriate play, and was able to capitalize on some of his momentum from the trade deadline. He used all of his resources to the fullest, made some wise decisions, was able to re-sign his players, and was then able to enter free agency with some extra roster flexibility. The Lakers had their non-taxpayer mid-level exception and their biannual exception when they entered free agency after all. Additionally, they signed Christian Wood, Gabe Vincent, Torian Prince, Cam Reddish, and Jackson Hayes. I thought that was a foolish form of free agency. In my opinion, the Lakers performed admirably. That concludes the video. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe and like.